Just in relation to the, your experience on experience on the board, I mean, we had the issue with the first board and the lack, lack of experience. And just in relation, Mr. Barry, how many hospitals have you built? Oh, how many hospitals have I built? I have built no hospitals on a sort of a greenfield basis. I have worked okay. on hospitals, but I've never built okay. no, any. Reason, there's a reason I'm asking this, Chair. Uh, just um, if you go to the PwC report, page 70, right, and on controllable risks, down the bottom it says, uh, page 70, contract management. The contractors, that's BAM, understand the contractual relationship better than the National Pediatric Hospital Board, allowing them to exploit opportunities to increase prices. So isn't that more or less saying they can make buck Egypt out of you, out well, of the entire board? Are they making fools out of you? Well, like I mean, it's there, well, and that's, that's in one of the controllable risks. Am, am I allowed to respond Well, to you that? are, yeah, but... Yeah. Thank you. I just point to our record during the course of this year where we have dealt with a very large number of contractor claims and we have come out of it fairly well. I'm just in... Right. And, and that, there that, it is that, in black and, and white, and that, the PwC the report. Black, black and white Highlights what my point was, that there. the lack of experience will allow contractors, and the contractor in this case, to make food, play you for fools. For example, I mean, with no expertise there, if, for example, the contractors in the hospital, say we just pick lighting, for example, and it would be specialised lighting in the hospital, you know, in a hospital different to, to other areas. But say that because of the lack of experience on the board, and it's here, the PwC have said that you'd be exploited because of your lack of specialised experience. Uh, I, I, I'm gobsmacked. Do you accept I, I, that? I, I, you, well, I, you can I, be gobsmacked, I, I, but we're talking about public funding and we're talking about public we, money. We, and it's not for the first time that the board was appointed with a lack of experience. It's actually the second time, the second time that nobody has specialised experience and nobody has led a project of this nature before. And here you sit again, deja vu, happening again. The board had no experience. And there it is included in the report. Final in black response and white. from Mr. Barry, and then we'll go to Mr. I would say that I am fairly experienced in the management of very large complex projects, including projects very similar in nature to the ones we're dealing with in the hospital. I accept that there may be others much better than me at the job but I was asked to do it. So I'm not really here to interview for the job. No, but you just know. highlighting the, not just, not myself actually, it's the PwC report that highlighted the lack of experience on the board and the fact that you could be exploited. Not for the first time, may I add, you know, this is the second board that, and okay. the, hence the overrun and why we're here in the first instance. No, just but definitely. do you have any idea of what the final cost will be? Indeed. The final cost will be the guaranteed max plus whatever residual risks... Whatever you're having on top, <laughs> on top of that, yeah. yeah. Uh, I think if that response is fair to say the 1.7 billion is aspirational rather than a reality. 